I love Drew Barrymore. I think she's adorable. I've been rooting for her for years. Uh, my heart ached when she went through that little rough period in the early 90s. Uh, and, you know, was very happy when she made her comeback. And she's surprised me here and there as far as being an actress and uh, like a film producer and shit like that. Uh, what I really like about her is I, I think she's a good actress, uh, but she also just seems like a fun person. I mean, out of the big kind of mainstreamish actresses, she looks like somebody I could hang with and talk to and uh, ha have fun with and just, just, you know, just kick back and, I don't know, watch something fun or have a go to a party or something like that. Just, you know, just someone who'd be cool to be around. And, um, let's see, she has been interested in behind the scenes and camera work for a while, which is why she's been producing. And, uh, finally she finds a project that she directs on her own, and, uh, it's called Whip It, starring Ellen Page. And, uh, it's the story of, uh, this girl who, she's 17, and she's beginning to realize that what her mother had planned for her isn't really what she's interested in, and they're parting, and, uh, she's trying to figure out how to make her happy as well as herself, and, uh, she's just going through that time where she's just trying to figure out what to do with herself, and until she sees a flyer for, uh, roller derby, uh, nearby, and she decides to, uh, check it out and with her, uh, best friend, and, uh, they, uh, they go, and she falls in love, and she tries out. Uh, and so she keeps the secret. Uh, she tells her parents all sorts of bullshit lies. She goes, and uh, she makes the team. She, where she lacks in brute force, she really gains in the fact that she's small and fast. And she really takes off as Babe Ruthless. And um, Let's see, she lies about her age, so she's lying to the Hurl Scouts, she's lying to her parents, uh, she meets this uh, cute guy who's in a band, and uh, things are going pretty well. And, uh, let's see, her, her mother is played by uh, Marsha Gay Harden, her dad is Daniel Stern, it's great seeing Daniel Stern and something, that guy is fucking amazing, I love that actor. Uh, I can't remember the name of the actress who plays her best friend, she looks so familiar. Uh, I feel like I've seen her a billion times. She's, she's terrific. Uh, and of course the Hurl Scouts are made up of a whole bunch of familiar faces. There's, there's Eve and Kristen Wiig and uh, Zoe Bell, actress and stunt woman. Uh, Drew herself, who plays kind of a bruiser of the team, uh, who isn't the captain and best one, but she gets her really into fights all the time. And uh, their main rival is led by uh, uh, Juliette Lewis, who, you know what? I gotta admit, in the 90s I was not a big fan, I thought she was kind of flaky, but somewhere down the line, I just, maybe it was when she was doing her rock band shit, uh, I somehow realized, you know what, she's awesome, she's just this weird, crazy fucking person, and she's now playing roles, or at least this that kind of reflects that, and I, I, I embrace that, if you're, if you ever watch this, uh, I, uh, my advice to, to you as an actress is keep embracing it. Just see what you can do uh, in parts. I'd love to see you be batshit crazy in any movie. Um, but uh, back to the movie. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, uh, although to be honest there's nothing real groundbreaking story or character wise or even in uh, direction. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's the kind of movie that has a lot of charm and makes you feel good and you really do feel, you really do feel and enjoy and love the characters, uh, and you just want them to be happy. And the way uh, the relationship is handled between her and her parents, once the parents do find out, uh, I think it's done very well and not overly dramatic. No one kills themselves or shit like that. Uh, there's not any, you know, horrifying left turns or something like that. It, you know, sometimes real life works itself out and not dreadful ways, and this film uh, is realistic about that. Uh, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I won't give too much away uh, about what happens, but uh, yeah, you just uh, watch, and the the, um, the roller derby scenes themselves are terrific. They're really energetic, 
Uh, they're hosted by Jimmy Fallon. The first time I've ever seen Jimmy Fallon in a movie, I didn't want to fucking throw up. Uh, he's very entertaining as sort of the MC of uh, the local uh, region of, uh, of uh, roller derby. And, uh, yeah, everybody's just kind of really good. It, it's, and I think the energy uh, is probably reflected of the fact that I'm guessing this was a fun movie to make. Everybody seemed to enjoy themselves while making this. Uh, and it really comes across on screen. You know, sometimes that doesn't. Sometimes, you know, it, it seems like everybody had fun making Cannonball Run 2, but it's a shit movie. This is different. Everybody seemed to have fun, and it really did kind of come across on screen. Uh, it's fairly standard material, but, you know, who cares? This is fun. Uh, I say go see this, uh, enjoy it, uh, or if it uh, comes on video at the time you're watching this, uh, rent it, and, you know, just enjoy the movie. I was uh, talking to Lindsay um, as we were leaving, and, and she's expressed from time to time that she would have loved to have uh, done uh, roller derby. We have a uh, local uh, roller derby here. Uh, let's see, the Dominion Derby Girls, I think they're called. And we've gone seen them before, and uh, Lindsay's told me she would have loved to have tried out, but uh, she doesn't have health insurance. Gee, I wonder how we could ever get health insurance for everyone. I don't know. But uh, that's another video. But, uh, it's, yeah, we were talking, yeah, she can't, uh, she can't get uh, on a team because she doesn't have health insurance. But, uh, you know, we've talked about, you know, if she did, you know, what would be her name. And she, she and I were talking about it. And I, I suggested maybe Von Doom. And uh, she likes Betty Rage. So I'm going to put this out there. If you have any cool um, suggestion for Lindsay's uh, roller derby name, uh, throw it up in the comments. Or if you're watching this and you'd love to be a derby girl, what would you like to be called? Whatever. You know, just just throw it on there. Anyway. Oh, I didn't even give the uh, ram chips. I'd say, you know, five ram chips. Fuck it. I like the movie. Push the button, Lindsay.